Okay, Jeff, uh, good today. Uh, I thought your lesson today on the Saturday the 16th was a good one. You still want to watch, uh, Ann does a little bit of it too, you still want to watch Leaning In, right? And we got to tuck that elbow and you see how the elbow kind of rides high here? We got to keep that tucked into the body. But this was a good hit. So you're, you're, you're getting good extension to your arms. You're getting that back heel up. You're not hitting it flat footed. You're coming through better. And that's why we were popping it out there better. But the keys for you are the very first part of the downswing. You're turning nicely, your heel's nicely balanced there. But right here we gotta watch, right? It wants to, you, you both tend to lead your downswing with your upper body. And what I'm trying to get for you to feel is that you're gonna get a lot more power if your upper body doesn't lunge into the ball first. You're not only gonna get a lot more power, but you're gonna get a lot more solid, uh, contact more often. You with me? Uh, because if you get your body, as I was explaining to Ann's video, if you watch hers, if you get your body out in front, she gets it more in front, you get it more over to your toes. But anytime it's an upper body motion that's leading, you're, you're not going to get, uh, you're not going to get the power that you should. But this is a much better extension, probably the best impact position that I've seen you in. Now, you mentioned about choking up on the club. Mm, that's a so what. You know, to me, and I don't mean so what if you do it or not. I mean, it's not making a big difference one way or the other. If you feel centrifugal force wise, if you, if you uh, can grip it on the end, you will be getting more centrifugal force. Obviously, a 10 foot pole is going to be traveling a whole lot faster than a 5 foot pole if you. Uh, just for an analogy, but uh, so yeah, you want to hold the club on the end for maximum distance if you can, right? Uh, we talked about a couple things, but I, I want you to realize too, what you've got that hook face, you've got the draw bias, you've got to make sure that that club is still aiming at the target when you hit it, right? So let the whole sole of the club rest on the ground. Don't let it sit up on its edge. It, it will work for you. If you release it, that's the other part of your thing. I want you to really feel the rollover of your hands here when you come through the ball. Let them roll. Do that uh, split grip drill that I gave you. That's the best one I know for that. And uh, you'll keep picking up distance. I, don't, I, I, don't, I still don't think you've reached your maximum distance. I hit many more good shots today with a draw, but I think we've got even more, a couple more yards in you. So keep working on your fundamentals, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.